Hey, Millie, what is wrong with you? Excuse me? It's about the dishes that you cooked. The menus are all exactly the same as last year. You've got to be kidding me. So that's how you try to slack off, huh? I made a mistake for even asking a good-for-nothing person like you to cook this year, too. I don't need a useless wife like you. I just had enough, and my patience had ran out. Is that so? Well, if you don't need me, then I'll happily go home. My name is Millie. I am 33 years old, and I am a housewife. It has been three years since I got married to my husband, Jake. But I had a problem. And that was my mother-in-law, Evelyn. I don't know if Evelyn loves to bully her daughter-in-law in general, or if she simply hates me, or both. But she is very strict to me in any case. When I think back, Evelyn has been very harsh to me from the very beginning of our marriage. Hey, Millie. Why are you sitting there? Excuse me? You really are useless wife. I went to visit my parents-in-law's house on a day when it wasn't even New Year's or anything. Evelyn greeted me with a smile, but when I was talking with my father-in-law, Roy, in the living room, she suddenly became angry with me and began to treat me horribly. When Evelyn began to act that way, Roy got surprised. Hey, why are you acting like that? Millie here came into our family to be Jake's wife. Roy defended me like that, but Evelyn, who is also strong-willed, argued back. Ferrister, always crucial here. The mother-in-law is supposed to be the one to strictly guide her daughter-in-law anyways. What you're saying is too outdated, Evelyn? Roy argued back to her. But to that, Evelyn didn't step back down either. Who cares if it's outdated or not? I'm saying this for Millie's sake. I felt really bad that I was the cause of the fight between Evelyn and Roy, and eventually it was settled when I said, I'm sorry Evelyn, and thank you for covering for me Roy, and rushed to help Evelyn. But the interaction I would have with Evelyn since then has all been terrible, and she would harass and bully me, mumbling things like, it's all your fault you know. Because of this, I immediately decided not to visit Evelyn and Roy, except for the big holiday events like Thanksgivings and New Year's holidays. While Roy was defending me, my own husband didn't seem to be interested in what was happening to me at all and was focused in watching TV. I had to deal with my in-laws, but I really think my husband was the worst. Normally, if your own wife is being harassed or bullied, her husband should protect her. And it was unbelievable of Jake to not get involved when his own husband's father was getting angry on his behalf. I was completely disappointed in Jake, but I still felt that it was somehow wrong to get a divorce right away. After all, I had fallen in love with Jake and chosen this person to marry. So I thought it was important for both of us to come to terms with each other first. About a year later since that incident, there was a New Year's gathering at Evelyn and Roy's house. At that time, all the relatives had come to their house, and it was like a big family party. Hey, Millie, well, what are you even doing? You are the wife of my eldest son in this family, so you better move around. You're so slow at everything. Evelyn still bullied me every time we met. But I did move around from the beginning, I mean, I prepared all the dishes for today's banquet in the first place, and I'm the first to carry them. Plus, I am greeting the relatives and pouring the drinks for them. So, I didn't want Evelyn to say such a thing and order me around like that. But, Evelyn says some terrible things about me to all their relatives like this. It really bothers me that Millie is such an uncaring wife. I really do feel sorry for Jake, who got such a useless, hopeless wife. They've only been married for a year or so, so maybe it wouldn't hurt for Jake to find another, better person. Evelyn would laugh loudly while saying things like that. 
I was absolutely mortified. I had no idea that Evelyn could bully me this bad. Most of their relatives who had never met me before and had known Evelyn longer seemed to believe what she said and gave me a bit of a cold shoulder. Roy is willing to cover up for me whenever he notices something was going on. But since there are so many of us here, he can't come over here when I am talking to other relatives at other tables. So that's why Evelyn says whatever she wants. And my husband is completely uninterested in what was happening to me. He drinks a lot, eats a lot, and then lies down and goes to sleep by himself. I was really angry that my husband didn't protect me at all, so I decided to talk it over with him when we got home. Hey, have you noticed that I'm always being bullied by your own mother? What? Bullied? Who's bullying who? Uh, I am being bullied by your mother. God, are you not listening to what I'm saying? Why, you're too loud. It's because you're not interested in what's happening to me at all, you know? Normally, if you hear that your own wife is being harassed or being bullied, her husband would protect her, right? Are you sure that you're being really bullied by mom? Excuse me? Because if you're complaining that much about it, then it must be really bad. But if that was the case, I would have noticed it already. If I didn't notice it, that uh, means it's not so bad at all, right? You say that like it's important and it seems like you're making a big deal out of it. What the heck are you saying? Your father argues back to your mother because of what she says about me. If you don't even notice that, then there's something wrong with you. Huh? There's nothing wrong with me? Roy is covering for me instead of you. When you're my husband, but you're just so uninterested in me. So isn't that strange? Well, if you insist that much, then I'll watch you carefully at our next gathering. If I decide that mom's bullying you, I'll warn my mom. My husband and I had quite an argument, but anyway, he said he would take my side if Evelyn bullied me, so we decided to wait and see. Then, a few months passed, and there was a family gathering for the summer holidays. Even there, Evelyn continued to say terrible things about me to the relatives. You know, Millie hardly ever shows up at all. I mean, I do want to talk to her, you know. She's a housewife, so she should be free during the day. But she's always too busy to come over. She actually really doesn't like me, huh? How sad. Is it my fault for my own daughter-in-law to not like me? This time, Evelyn made me look bad by talking down to me like I was looking down on her when I wasn't. Sure, I don't like Evelyn, but that's because she bullies me. If I had left that out, it would simply come across as if I had a really bad personality. I looked at my husband. My husband looked at Evelyn this time and listened. But even though Evelyn was talking terrible things about me to the relatives, Jake started talking to other relatives in the middle of the conversation and started getting into drinking and eating the dishes again without paying any attention to Evelyn. When we got home, I questioned my husband. Hey, why didn't you cover up for me? Huh? What do you mean? When Evelyn was saying terrible things about me. But mom was only saying the truth, right? Excuse me? Since you don't visit my parents' house often, isn't it natural for you to be worried that mom might not like you? You're a little too self-centered to take it as a sign that mom was saying terrible things about you when she's enjoying herself like that, aren't you? The world doesn't revolve around you, you know? I was just stunned and speechless. Why should I be offended in such a way? It was Evelyn's fault and my husband's fault for not realizing it. I have become very disappointed with my husband. I wondered if I could stay married to such a person. I thought about it, but I am now just a housewife and I had quit my job when I got married. 
So even if I get divorced right now, I will not be able to live on my own. If that is the case, I have to first do some job hunting and decide on a job. But the reality is that things are not that easy and I keep getting rejected for job interviews. Will I ever be able to leave my husband? But I could not give up at this point. I continued my job hunt without giving up. I realized that time had already passed to the point where the end of the year was approaching. But that meant I had to attend the New Year's gathering again. If I didn't attend, not only my husband but also Evelyn would say this and that. And I didn't know how many terrible rumors would spread among my relatives when I wasn't there. I went with my husband to his parents' house, hoping that this would be the last time I would attend if possible. Evelyn was still waiting for me, as if she was going to harass me. How, oh, Millie? You're so late. Hurry up and begin preparing for cooking the meals. Y yes I obeyed and started cooking. It was hard work, but at least I finished cooking for a lot of people. I was able to finish cooking early, but my relatives had already started to arrive here and there. I greeted them with New Year's greetings. Then, Evelyn suddenly came to me with an angry look on her face. Hey, Millie. What is bra with you? Excuse me? It's about the dishes that you cooked. The menus are all exactly the same as last year. Oh, that's because... You've got to be kidding me. So that's how you try to slack off, huh? What kind of nerve do you even have to make my relatives eat the same food again? Evelyn was furious. It's not that I was slacking off or anything. My husband was nearby, so I asked him for help as my last hope. Hey, can you say something too? If he doesn't take my side on this, I'll leave him. I asked my husband as I thought that to myself. But, as I should have expected, he did not take my side. You were slacking off, weren't you? What? Cooking and making the same menus as last year is nothing but slacking off. Shame on you for slacking off that way. Oh my god. Hearing Jake say that and agreeing to what Evelyn was saying, she used this as her advantage. I made a mistake for even asking a good-for-nothing person like you to cook this year, too. And what was most shocking was that she started throwing the food I cooked into the trash. What are you doing? You can't make my relatives eat the same menus? I'm going to order some pizzas now, and you're going to pay for everyone's portion. Mom, that's a great idea. Millie, this is what you deserve and it's your punishment. With that, my husband started calling the pizza restaurant. Then Evelyn, with a look of triumph on her face, said this to me. I don't need a useless wife like you. So hurry up and clean these dishes that you cook instantly. I just had enough, and my patience had ran out. Is that so? Well, if you don't need me, then I'll happily go home. I beg your pardon? Both my husband and Evelyn looks really surprised. But I got ready to leave and grab my bag, not caring about their reactions. I've just run out of patience, so I'm divorcing you. D divorce H Hey, wait a minute. My husband rushed after me, but I ignored him and left my in-law's house. Then I got in my car and drove home, packed my bags, and went back to my own parents' house. My parents were surprised but were furious when they heard what had happened. Then I was relaxing at my parents' house and eating New Year's dishes my mother had cooked for the first time in a long time. My husband was calling me nonstop but I ignored all of them. And the next day he called again so I had no choice but to answer. <laughs> hey. Where are you, Millie? I'm back at my parents' place. I've already packed up my belongings and brought them back, so all I have to do now is divorce you. No way. 
Are you really being serious? Of course. Isn't it because of my mom? So why are you divorcing me? How stupid can you be? I have asked you for help so many times, and yet, you didn't help me at all. And of course, you attack me with Evelyn. How can I stay married to someone like that? No, no way. Please, don't divorce me. A lot is going on back at my parents' house too. My husband told me what happened after I left, even though I didn't even ask. After I left, Evelyn and Jake said, What a useless wife. And then, Jake saw that his cousin's five-year-old son was watching what was happening the whole time. Realizing him being there, Evelyn asked him, Oh, what's wrong, sweetie? And since the boy saw the dishes thrown in the trash, he suddenly began to cry. Hey, my favorite dishes are all thrown away. As the boy began to cry, Evelyn panicked. And the boy's grandmother, who happens to be Evelyn's older sister, Laura, appeared to see what was going on. Hey, why is my grandson crying? Evelyn was upset because she has always been afraid of Lara, and she began to panic. Then a relative who was watching the whole thing told Lara that Evelyn had told me not to cook the same menus I did last year and had thrown the food in the trash. When Lara heard all the story, she was furious. What the hell did you do? I'm the one who asked Millie to make the same menus as last year. What? She made all the things that my grandson, who's really allergic to many things, loves. So I asked her to make more of the same menus this year too. No way. But, but I ordered these pizzas, so aren't they better? Are you kidding me? My grandson can't eat cheese. Now he can't eat anything because of you. I'm so, so sorry. That's enough. We're going home. We'll never come to your house for the New Year's gathering again. Lara says so and had apparently taken Jake's cousin and his wife and Lara's grandchildren home with her. Plus, Lara was more beloved by all the relatives than Evelyn, and also when they heard that Evelyn was throwing away the dishes, many of them thought it was indeed too much, and no one took her side. When Roy found out what was going on, he became very angry and told Evelyn, We're getting a divorce. My husband was also blamed by Roy and the relatives for not protecting his own wife. And he also had to pay for all the pizzas for about 30 people. I had to pay a lot for everyone's pizzas, you know. I saved money to buy things I wanted to buy, but now I can't even buy them. Since I've been punished like this, please just forgive me. What on earth was he saying? What are you talking about? That has nothing to do with me. You deserved it. Anyway, I can't be with you anymore so I'm divorcing you. Let's get in touch about the rest through the lawyer. Oh, no, no. I then just hung up the phone. After that, I asked my father to introduce me to a lawyer who he recommended. It seems that Evelyn was really abandoned by Roy, and Evelyn, who had been a housewife all her life, had no job, and so she could only depend on Jake. But my ex-husband said, it's your fault that this happened, and blames Evelyn every day, and so she seems to be mentally driven into a corner. Then, Evelyn stopped doing any house chores altogether because she was too mentally distressed. So, Jake had to do all the house chores by himself and paying the living expenses for the two of them from his own salary. And he was definitely having a hard time. I, on the other hand, have successfully found a new job and I am now working hard as an office worker. Now I am thinking of looking for a new hobby, all saving money. It's absolutely not right to throw away any food. But there's no need for a husband who literally bullies his own wife. I'm really glad that Millie got away from her no-good husband and her crappy mother-in-law. I wish her all the happiness in her life from now on.
Thank you for watching until the end. Please subscribe to our channel. We hope to see you in our next video.